Next important thing that we will cover is sorting. Sorting is one of the most fundamental tasks in computer science and databases are no exception. Then there are different ways of sorting. The sorting is done generally for display purposes is that remember that order by condition in SQL the relational algebra produces set so the sorting has got no value there but for display purposes it is being useful. However, it is not that the display purpose that is useful it can be it is also useful uh, because the when the tuples are produced in a sorted order and these tuples are in an intermediate result that can fit to other other uh, query expressions later on if the tuples are produced in a sorted order that may help the query algorithm later. So, sorting is a very very important operation that databases also do very regularly and what are the different kinds of sorting that we will go over. First of all understand that the index, so index generally stores the tuples in a sorted manner, but index only provides a logical view because it has got only pointers to the actual tuples, so it is only a logical view whereas sorting here means that we want the physically sorted tuples. So, there is a difference between just outputting the index etcetera. So, there are two different ways that sorting can be done. When the tuple fits in memory, when all the tuples fits in memory then quick sort can be used and I am assuming all of you know what the quick sort algorithm is. Quick sort can be used when it fits in memory. However, when it does not fit into memory does not fit into memory then quick sort is not a good algorithm and then what is being done is the merge sort algorithm, but this merge sort is not the uh, basic merge sort that we have studied this is a merge sort with a twist this is called an external merge sort algorithm and we will see what the external merge sort algorithm next. External merge sort is also sometimes called external sort merge this is the same name that is given to it. So, we will next study what the external merge sort algorithm is. So, we will study what the external merge sort algorithm is. Now, suppose only m blocks can fit into memory, m blocks can fit into memory. And the size of the relation is of course, more than m blocks that is why this the entire relation cannot fit into the memory. So, what is being done is sorted runs are produced, sorted runs. Now, what is a run is the following way it is being done. So, first of all m blocks are read at a time. Then they are sorted in memory using any algorithms let us say the quick sort or whatever sorted in memory. Then these m blocks are written back. So, these are the three steps that is done for each run of m blocks fine. So, what is being done is m blocks are read, the first m blocks are read, then they are sorted in memory, then they are written back. Then once that is done, the next set of m blocks are read, then they are again sorted in memory and then they are written back and so on and so forth. So, essentially this one is called a run. This is a that so for each run m blocks is read and sorted fine. So, this is the first step. After that, the merge step comes, which is merge m minus 1 runs at a time at a time. This is called m minus 1 way merge. So, what this algorithm does is that it reads first block of m minus 1 runs. Then it outputs first record that is the best out of these m blocks to the buffer block. So, there is a buffer block. So, that is why you see this is m minus 1 this is a buffer block that is being placed. So, that is the buffer block which is being done and once the buffer block is done 
continue till buffer block is full, then output buffer block to disk. After this a new buffer block is done and so on so forth is, exist, is uh, done and when, when a block of a run is exhausted, next block of that run, run is red and this continues on. So, this may not even finish in the second merge because m minus 1 runs may not be enough, there may be more than m minus 1 blocks that are produced in the first uh, stage. So, this keeps on going and finally, the output is produced. Now, do imp the one important thing to remember is that this can co go on in more than one pass. So, this keeps on passing, but the more important part is that after every pass some part of the input is processed and the output is sorted up to that point. So, let us take an example to understand the external uh, sort merge algorithm in more detail. So, here is an example and suppose here the m equal to 3. So, only 3 blocks can fit at a time and this is the data that we need to sort. So, 18, 11, 16 etcetera. So, at the first pass 3 things will be input to memory. So, 18, 11 and 16 will be input to memory and of course, this will be sorted and what will be output is 11, 16, 18. Now, similarly more runs will be created and the outputs will be written back to the disk and these are the outputs that will be created after the first run. Now, note that as may happen that in some cases the last block may be half full, but it does not matter all it needs to create is to put in a sorted run. So, now note that each of this is a sorted run. Now, since the next step will be trying to do the following is that uh, since m equal to 3. So, the first two blocks first two sorted runs will be brought into memory. Now, not everything will be brought into memory only the first blocks will be brought into memory. So, what will be there in the memory is 11 and 12. Then there is a buffer block created. The buffer block will essentially output the first uh, out of this to the, the, the least out of this 11 and 12. So, 11 will be output will be written to the buffer block and note that each buffer block can hold up to 3 of these values. So, 11 will be created. Now, as soon as 11 is output the next one from this uh, block which uh, had uh, 11 the next one from the uh, run which had 11 the next block will be read which means 16 will be brought into memory. Now, the next comparison will be between 16 and 12 and 12 will be output. Now, once 12 is output 13 will be brought into memory then out of this 13 will be created and once 13 is done 17 will be brought into memory. More importantly what will happen is that at this point in time this buffer block is full because it can contain 3 of these things and this is done. So, this will be written back to the disk and the buffer will be emptied out. So, now the buffer block can hold some other value. So, this is written back to the disk then out of then the same process is continued. So, out of 16 and 17 16 will be then put into the buffer block after 16 then 18 will be brought then 17 will be output once 17 is erased there is nothing more left in the block. So, nothing else is uh, brought and then 18 is done. So, 18 will be also erased. So, then this will be produced as 16, 17 and 18. Now, in the same manner these two will be sorted and what will be produced here is the we can simply write it down 14, 15, 19, 20, 21. In the next step this there are only 2 blocks left now. So, these 2 will be sorted and the total sorted order will be produced. So, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 that is being done. So, this is you see that this follows the march sort procedure, but 
couple of things are taken into account is that only three things at a time is because done because that is what the memory has the capacity and then the buffer block is used etc. This is the external merge sort algorithm and this is how the things are actually being done. Now note in this example two passes were not enough it required three passes because even in the second pass there was not enough space. The first pass is always required to create the sorted runs and then after that there may be many passes required. Now one important thing to do is to analyze this algorithm. So how do we analyze the cost of this external march sort? So cost of this external march sort algorithm is the done in the following manner. Suppose the relation contains B blocks and memory is can contain only M blocks of course B is greater than M. So the total number of sorted runs that is produced the first thing is that number of sorted runs that is produced is your B by M. Now in each merge pass M minus 1 runs are sorted. So the total number of merge passes that are required is log of m minus 1 of this number b by m. So this is the thing and the total number of things that is required is the following. So total number of march passes required is the log of m minus 1 of this the total number of sorted runs. Now during each of these march passes and the first pass so these are the two important passes all the blocks are read and all the blocks are written. So the total number of block transfers is that so if all the number of blocks are read that is B and all the blocks are written that is B again. So total number of transfers is simply 2B times this number this entire number plus 1 for the first pass. So if we say this is S and if we say this is small m then this is m plus 1. So that is the total number of transfers that is required to understand uh, this. Now what is the total number of 6? So how do we compute the total number of 6 is that? So the initial sorted run reads all these m blocks and there is only 1 c. So for the total number of 6 is twice of b by m because every time total number of sorted runs is then every time for the first run of the portion of the data is read and then written. So for each reading the sorted run requires one seek and then writing it back requires another seek. So it is twice the number of sorted runs. So it is essentially 2s that is what is the number of things for the first pass. This is only for the first pass. Now during the march pass this is the first sorted run thing. So each of the march passes what is being done is that blocks from different runs may be read. So first the one block is read. So suppose there are multiple blocks. This is one block. This is one block. There are one block. So first this block is being read. Then next block may be read. Then next block may be read and so on and so forth. So the number of there is a worst case is that every time something is output to the buffer block the another block is being read. So the number of 6 is essentially just hopping from one block to the another one run to the other. So there may be many many 6. So the number of 6 is essentially all the number of so for each of these there may be again 2b. So for each block may be need to be read and written for each of these blocks there is b6 for reading and b6 for outing because for each of these blocks again it hops to some other things and so on and so forth. So for each of these b's there is a jump. So there is 2b6 par march phase. So the total number of march things there is that 2b times this m the m that we use there. So the total number of 6 therefore is essentially the total number of 6 in the entire algorithm is simply 2s plus 2b times m. So this can be the worst case number of 6. So the total number of transfers is 2b times m plus 1 and the total number of 6 is 2s plus 2bm. This is of course the worst case analysis of the March sort. Now it can be bad but it generally it is lesser than that because we have uh, assumed the worst case that 
every block jumps to is a seek.